Hi, and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, we're Vegan Finds. If you're not new here, welcome back. If you're new, hit that like, like button, hit subscribe, share this video, turn on the notification bell down below. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Jeffree Star Bloodlust Palette. Oh, I don't want to show you my dirty counter. Um, today on my eyes, I wore Dungeon, Blood Queen, Vivid Moon, Wet Jewel, Take the Crown, and a little bit of Betrayal. So if you like this video, stick around. If you want to learn whether or not the Bloodlust palette is Vegan Finds approved, stick around. New on our channel, we're going to do the carrot rating. Is it one carrot approved or five carrots approved? Your Majesty. Take the Crown, Deviant, Beauty Sleep, Wet Jewel, Royal Pain, my favorite color, Dungeon, Scandal Water, Scandal Water, okay, um, Sworn Enemy, and Pink Magic. On this arm, I have, going this way, Bleeding Heart. Executioner. Now, as much as I want to love Executioner, the fallout of glitter from this thing is killing me. I can't get the glitter to stay no matter what I do. If I go to blend it out, the glitter's gone. And then I have glitter everywhere. So I I've had to undo my makeup twice. Um, High King. Vivid Moon. Um... Monarchy, which I'd probably wear just alone if I want to do a no makeup makeup day. Blood Queen, Vile Serpent, and Betrayal. So some of the shades barely show up on my skin, but I, I'm more the color of uncooked celery root than I am anything else. So there's a little yellow, there's a little pink, there's a little stuff going on. Um, so for me, some of the shades are just going to be blend, blend out shades. Um, for other people, they may work better. Um, there is a significant amount of kickback in the pan. I do love it because, well, I mean, honestly, yes. Um, but I can see why some people would pass on something like this. If purple is not your aesthetic, you're going to get very little use out of this palette so don't buy something if you're not going to use it is always my theory um i use my anastasia beverly hills quite a bit i will probably use these two together a lot because i love the deeper shades in here and he's got more blendable purples in here so i will probably use these two in conjunction with each other um so let's talk about the lipsticks because I am, I, I own two different shades of lipstick, a shade of nude or a shade of fire engine red. Those are the two shades. I don't usually do color. Um, so I was kind of actually being a little adventurous when I purchased this. So on yesterday's video, I wore this shade which is royal armor and i i have to tell you i love that shade it, it is gorgeous um you can't really see it well it's not it's a very light shade okay it's, it's a very light shade okay. it's almost like a lip tint gotcha this is the shade my daughter went went out with we lost power last night and i put this on her lips because um, she wanted to see what the shades look like. I am vulgar. Oh, it is a beautiful, reddy, purpley thing going on there. Um, I'm royalty, which I already own in the full size. Um, God, 
I use this more for an eyeliner. I wouldn't, I can't imagine me ever um, Good. going out with that on my mouth. Um, Scorpio. Which is a beautiful, like, just brown neutral shade that I will probably get quite a bit of use out of because, like I said, two shades. Um, virginity, which I'm wearing today, which is like this pinky nude, which I really love. It tends to wash out my lipstick, my lips, because I have very, um, weird colored lips. Next to that is Blow Pony, which again, I believe I own Blow Pony already, and I love that shade. Okay. I can't wait to wear this one, and I don't know why, but this is clout. Can we talk about that moment for a second? That silvery purple That silvery purple moment right there. Oh, I can't wait to wear that. And then this is Berries on Ice. Again, more of a ready berry tone than a purpley berry tone. But I'm okay with that because, like I said, reds, nudes. Those are my two shades. So... I do like the minis. It gives me an opportunity to um, try out the liquid lips. I wish he would make some of them in the full size because I know that there's two exclusive shades. Um, and they're all very gorgeous. So this is the two glosses that I picked up. Uh... As you can see, one's more of a pinky, nudie, purple shift, and the other one is more just a straight purple shift. Um, I may pick up the rest of them. I don't know. I, I'm, I don't know. I'm so on the fence about the rest of them, but I just don't know, but I love the way they wear, and my daughter really does love the gloss, so I, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. So overall, if you're okay with supporting Jeffrey, I think it's a good palette and if you like purples. Orange drum roll, please. Is the Jeffrey Star Bloodlust Collection carrot approved? So overall, I would give this collection Don't come for me. Three and a half carats. Jeffrey, had you done a little bit deeper purples and had that white shade, the Your Majesty actually showed up on my skin, it would probably be closer to four and a half. Don't, please don't come for me. I'm gonna have to live with this approval in my own house. Don't come for me. Um, Overall, I do love it though. Thank you for watching. Okay. Hi, editing me. Um, I wanted to update you on how the, is the mic on. Okay. <laughs> how the eyeshadow wore throughout the day. So we went food shopping at Shoprite, Trader Joe's, and that's it. Um, I think that it's worn pretty well. I've had it on now for. Five and a half hours, so I'll get closer. Uh, I did have to reapply the lipstick because I ate some uh, potato chips, uh, and the oil in the potato chips rubbed my lipstick off. So now I'm wearing clout, so we can see how clout looks on me. So thank you again for joining us. Um, if you like this, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bells, leave a comment down below. Thank you.